don't use those chemicals down there god made that place down there make your v region in a way that it cleanses itself and just clean water can do the job hello guys and welcome to my channel if the first time here welcome if you are old thanks for always coming back for today's video i'm going to be sharing with you on how you can always smell and taste good for your men make sure you stay to the end so you don't miss out on any point so keep watching my first tip for you is to drink a lot of water drink a lot of water guys make sure you drink a lot of water we honor the benefits of water water will go in there cleanse you up it's a kind of a form of detox you know takes up all the bad toxins from you thereby keeping you fresh and making you smell good you know so make sure you drink a lot of water and especially you can always drink your water and mind your business it does no harm my second tip for you is to change your pants liners your pants and your pants as often as possible in a day if that makes any sense maybe i should repeat again change your pants liners your pants and your pants as often as you can in a day it's going to help to keep you fresh smelling good so if you can change your pants during that period as often as you can it's going to do you a lot of good towards the end we like to put on pant liners because it helps to like keep our pants safe you should change them you should change them as often as possible too third tip for you is to wash your hair neck and your hair at least once a week wash your hair neck and hair at least once a week guys we know maybe in europe it's not all that prominent but in africa we all know we have hair necks that we use to protect our hair at night before we go to bed so we make and keep it go for months without washing it and when you sleep with your man on the bed it smells so bad your mind might not tell you that that hair net smells bad but trust me he gets that smell so make sure you wash it at least once a week make sure you wash it at least once a week to keep it smelling good wash your hair as often as possible too especially those of you who have dandruff and who put a lot of oils on your hair make sure you wash your hair do yourself some shampoo at least once a week it's going to keep you smelling good it's going to keep your hair smelling nice you know you know what i mean some of us we are negligent it's not as if you are dirty something we just neglect that part we are like ah it's just a hair neck it won't do any harm but trust me it smells and people can actually perceive it though they might not tell you my first tip is for you to clean your belly button or your navel every single day guys that's one area of our body that we neglect a lot but trust me if you go into your belly button if you just look at it touch it you might see some accumulated dirt especially if you are going washing it all the time check on it guys you would notice that there's a lot of dirt accumulated there it can actually smell bad especially if it has been for years or you have never known that you have to wash it I know most of the time they say you don't have to manipulate your belly button so much because it can pain you but trust me it needs to be washed all the time you need to clean it you have to keep it clean it's very important because sometimes it can smell bad and you don't want your man wanting to go down there or give you a head or want to do something with you and there it smells bad mm -mm, it isn't pleasant my fifth tip for you is to clean the back of your ears every day most of us neglect that we don't even think about if we just like oh it's just the back of an ear when we are taking our shower we actually go there no take the time to clean your ears you can always use a cotton ball at any time guys you can always use cotton ball there are even waters meant for the ears so you can always go to a nearby pharmacy ask for water to clean your ears you like pump it beep beep inside your ear you burn and it actually cleanses the, the inside of your ear you make sure when you're taking your bath you, you wash the back of your ears because you don't want your man going there giving you some cases and it smells bad there or seeing dirt accumulated inside your ear or at the back of your ears make sure you don't neglect that because that's what we don't think of often you know sometimes you can just turn your man down when he like he wants to give you a kiss and all we are sitting somewhere having a date and the inside of your ears actually looks disgusting make sure you always clean the back of your ears and your ears all the time it's very important so take note number six 
stop using medicated soaps or any form of cleansers down there, I mean in the V region. Don't, don't guys. Stop listening to these women that keep on telling you that, oh, use this to, to wash your private, it smells great. Or oh, use this soap to do this, it's going to tighten, it's going to do that. It will give you order down there. I don't want to call the name. And please, don't mention the name here under my comment section. Like, I would delete it. Don't use those chemicals down there. God made that place down there. Make your V region in a way that it cleanses itself. And just clean water can do the job. When you're taking your shower, use just clean water and clean it. Trust me. Trust me. It's going to do you a lot of good. And for those of you who have itches, stop using any form of medication to wash down there. Don't, guys. Don't do that. Stop it and just continue with fresh water. Clean water to clean it down there. Make sure the water is clean. Use it to clean down there and you will definitely see a difference make sure you use just clean water guys all those forms of medication soaps that they tell you that it's meant for the v region don't do that at the end of the day it causes a lot of harm it causes a lot of harm and it kills a lot of good bacteria that are meant to be there when you use those medicated soaps you are likely to, to be to be infected by the least thing that comes around that area so do yourself some good and use just clean water to clean down there that's how it is make sure guys make sure you use just clean water to wash it and nothing else come and tell me later when you have tried it number seven apply shea butter or baby oils coconut oils when you shave down there normally down there it's not supposed to be shaved because there's a reason why the hair is there but we know it's not hygienic. We don't want to leave it to look like a forest or something. So when you get maybe you go waxing or you shave it yourself in the house, make sure you apply some form of oil there to actually help to soften it and to avoid you getting rashes. Make sure you moisturize that area so that you don't get rashes. It's not pleasant when you have rashes and it's not also pleasant when you leave it on shape. So when you shave it, make sure you take care of it just keep it looking good and smelling good my eighth point for you is to brush your teeth and your tongue at least twice a day guys there's nothing sexy about a woman who has just eaten and she's smelling food or food is tucked in between her teeth it's disgusting it is really really disgusting so make sure you brush your teeth after eating. When you brush your teeth, don't forget to brush your tongue. Make sure you brush your tongue as well. As, make sure you brush your tongue as well because it's very important. I'm not saying that this applies only to women. Make sure you brush your teeth, especially after eating. Because sometimes when you eat, especially vegetables or practically any type of food, you have sometimes some parts get tucked in between your teeth. You use water, you use toothpick, it doesn't do the job. You just have to take your brush, brush it, and, 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 and brush your tongue to smell good. Make sure you do that. And if you are somewhere you cannot really brush your teeth, you can always carry along this peppermint sweet. Peppermint sweet, you have uh, other flavors that smell good. Like, you just have them. And keep a small mirror in your back so that you can always, like, Cross check, cross check all the time, especially I'm going to go and see him. He wants to look on sleek. So you make sure you check it out before you go. So make sure you brush your teeth and your tongue at least twice a day. Okay? My ninth tip for you is to have separate underwears for your period. We know sometimes that period actually damages our pants, especially if you are someone that uses white pants all the time. Mm -mm, sometimes when it gets stained, it's difficult to actually get rid of. So I would advise you either get some colored pants or if you are to continue using your white pants, you get white, white pants and you keep them separately for that time of the month. Then you use your other types of your other pants when it's not in that period. That will just help keep your pants fresh, looking clean. You know what I mean? Like you understand, I don't need to go into details. We, we, we get this, we understand this. We are women, you know what I mean. So if you can separate your pants, like 
plan for the period and plan for normal times is really going to do you a lot of good because they are going to make your expensive underwear. You know, sometimes we have lingeries, pants that are meant for our men, you know. You don't want to mix them up with your period and all whatnot. You want to keep it separate. So make sure you keep them separate to keep them clean and looking sexy, okay? My last but not the least point is get yourself a good perfume. Get a perfume that makes you smell like a snack. There are perfumes out there. I don't know if you love vanilla or what. Get you a perfume. When you're with a man, you know the scent he loves. You know the scent your man loves. So make sure you get that scent that your man is actually in love with. Get that perfume your man is in love with the scent. Get it. Get it. And when you're around him, make sure you spray a bit so that he can actually get to like... Hmm? You, you, you know what I mean, you know what I mean, right? Make sure you get yourself good perfume that will make you smell like a snack, irresistible. I don't know if I'm making sense. So guys, that's all what I have for you today. Hope you learned something from me. In the comment section, let me know your tips on how you taste and smell good for your man. Let's learn from each other. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to be informed if I upload a new video. It is totally free, guys. Bye!